My name is Rodrigo Valenzuela. I'm a visual artist, original from Chile. I try to incorporate all the students in the art making process. Just walk around the object, you know, like you guys have some sculptures already around. So in this case, I'm working as a basically director, project director, than as an as a artist. We could call it collaborative project, but also it's uh, labor intensive. Using the, the students for means of production, we're using the ceramic classes and the, and the sculpture classes to produce all the objects that are going to be part of the work. So I have a slight idea of what, like, what these objects are, but I don't control what they're going to be. We are trying to build tools that will allow us to make this art, and so the tools are intrinsically use, useless. And also we are taking all the drawing students and all the painting students to make a big mural uh, around the gallery. For this project, I'm using all the people's gestures and all the students' hands to build this slowly and imitating this landscape, tracing it. So in some way to make it um, a very mundane and repetitive act of uh, tracing. My relationship with all this work and, and, and labor is um, it's come from very early age. I, um, my grandfather is a carpenter and my father is a mailman. Uh, so the boats have this like very strong repetitive labor in their life. So for them, working on something means having more work for next day. It never meant to like, oh, I can be done so I can do something else, or I can move on from a project. A lot of my background has been uh, day labor too. I have done mostly meaningless work. The idea of having more work or producing more work or having uh, the choice to like get a job that produced that never gonna end, it was the good thing, right? Now we couldn't, in, in, in 2014, we can't live with the idea of like doing the same thing forever, you know? I'm very interested in subverting the means of labor and like how nothing can become something and sometimes like making a lot of things can be uh, nothing, like trying to value this um, discarded part of society or like this or like add value to objects that they are useless or paying people to do nothing is uh, something that motivates me in making more work. I'm pretty lucky to be at Clark College where there is a more diverse uh, student population. I'm interested in the, in community, co in the, in the community college uh, and the, the people that attract. And these people attract often, they are part of the work, they are already part of the working force. Uh, so um, I wanted to like, know more information about between how they approach to art, how, what they can make when you just give them very simple guidance, but also their personal experiences about being part of these like, jobs that they're supposed to be kind of transitional jobs or jobs that they're like, they deserve to be bad and the, the relationship with this job that like, you assume that they're never going to be good. There is a job that like, society absolutely needs, that no, nobody, despite the color or the race or the, you know, the age, like absolutely nobody wants to do, but they, you assume that there is like, so many of these jobs that could be enjoyable. I mean, you know, there is nothing wrong and nothing bad particularly about making sandwiches, but it's like, the idea of like, for anybody thinking about working a sub, in Subway for eight hours a day, it already it's sounds hellish. You can't have a personality. Um, they will do anything to make sure you don't have that. <laughs> and um, that's why I call the soul sucking. You do lose a part of yourself. If you're not good at grounding yourself at that moment with this type of job. Make something or uh, in Chile, my job was basically to, uh, I worked for a ski resort place. The, the relationship between enjoyment and labor is so despair. So I'm just trying to collect interviews to make um, a connection between the, the unenjoyment of work and, the, and, the, like, and this scene that is so meaningless, you know, making a drawing and making these tools, this work, but it's like so imprecise about what is the outcome of this work, how much is pay or how much is work, how much is worth the art itself that is, they are making. Uh, yes, uh, I don't have any answer, but it's like, it's, uh, again, for me, making work is to, build questions too. It's not about like explaining people why I may work. So